The fire that has been raging in Nova Scotia for over a week is believed to be caused by human activity and exacerbated by a series of weather factors. According to officials, most of the wildfires are accidental and could have been prevented by following the burn ban that was imposed on May however. Some people ignored the ban and started fires that quickly got out of control due to the dry and windy conditions. Nova Scotia experienced a low snowfall this winter, which reduced the moisture level in the soil and vegetation. Then, an unusually dry spring followed, with Halifax receiving only a third of its average rainfall between March and May. Finally, a record-breaking heatwave hit the region in late May, pushing temperatures to over 30 degrees Celsius, about 10 degrees above normal for this time of year. These factors created drought-like conditions that made the forests more flammable and vulnerable to ignition. The fire has burned through more than 25,000 acres of land, destroyed hundreds of homes and structures, and forced more than 16,000 people to evacuate. It is the largest wildfire ever recorded in Nova Scotia, a province that is not used to such devastating blazes. The Acadian forest that covers most of the region is composed of a mix of broadleaf and evergreen trees, which are less prone to large wildfires than the coniferous forests in western Canada. However, the extreme weather conditions have overcome the natural resistance of the forest and allowed the fire to spread rapidly and unpredictably. The fire has also affected the air quality in Nova Scotia and beyond, as smoke from the blaze has drifted as far south as Virginia in the United States. Air quality alerts have been issued for several areas, warning people to limit their outdoor activities and exposure to the smoke. The smoke can cause respiratory problems, especially for people with asthma or other chronic lung diseases. The fire is still out of control and poses a serious threat to people and property. More than 200 crews from various agencies across the province are working tirelessly to contain the fire and protect the communities. They are using fire trucks, helicopters, water bombers, and bulldozers to create fire breaks and extinguish hot spots. The federal government has also sent in the military to assist with the firefighting efforts and provide logistical support. The only hope for a lasting relief is rain, which is expected to fall later this week. The rain could help dampen the fire and reduce its intensity and spread. However, officials warn that it will take more than one shower to put out the fire completely. They urge people to remain vigilant and follow the evacuation orders and safety guidelines until the situation is under control.